Senior management at the university learned of the allegations involving the men's hockey team from a third party on February 24th. We reported the incident to the police the next day, February 25th. And then on the 25th and 26th, we examined our response. We came to the conclusion that suspending the hockey program was appropriate. And we went through all of the internal mechanisms associated with getting approval for that step. We also decided on an internal review. And we recognized that it would be necessary to brief our board. We convened a meeting for the board on Friday by conference telephone call. And we decided to make the announcement on Friday of the suspension of the team and the appointment of the internal review. On Thursday evening, we were asked by the Thunder Bay police to put off the announcement because they were at a delicate point in their efforts to advance the investigation. In evaluating our campus environment, we have to ask how well we send the message that all forms of sexualized violence are unacceptable and profoundly repugnant to our core values and beliefs as a university community. And one of the things that's so appalling about the events and allegations of the last couple of weeks is that they stand in such shocking contrast to the values that I've known and internalized for over 50 years. That's why today we're announcing the creation of a task force on respect and equality composed of faculty, staff, and students. Their mandate will be to provide recommendations on how to reaffirm that culture of respectful behavior on campus so that everyone here, women in particular, can learn and work in an environment where they feel they're protected from harassment and sexualized violence.